everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we are back with the Seagate Personal Cloud. It is chugging away right over there behind me because they just released a new firmware that they gave us a sneak peek at, uh, which does some things to correct some of the issues we saw in my initial review, as well as providing a new feature, which is Plex, which I know a lot of you are going to be very excited about. So here is uh, the speed test now running with this improved firmware, and as you can see, we're finally getting read speeds where I expected them to be. Uh, close to 100 megabytes per second on read and about 50 megabytes per so on write. So pretty much where you would expect a device at this price point and overall uh, specifications to land. So I think this is uh, a good improvement. I've been running it now for the last hour to make sure it's really going to stay at this performance level uh, and it's been doing a nice job. I'm going to stop this though and shoot over to Plex because as you can see now you have the option to run the Plex media server on here. Uh, if you're not familiar with Plex, I might do a video on it if people have some interest in learning more about it. But basically what it is is a uh, media application that you can load your movies and photos and music onto. And they've got a whole array of apps that run on just about every single platform. So there's a web-based platform that you can get uh, from your computer. Even when you're not at home, you can get into your stuff at home uh, from your computer remotely. It has stuff on the iPad, on Android, Roku, you name it. They've got an app and you can stream media uh, from your Seagate drive within reason. And I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, really pretty much anywhere you are, which is pretty handy. So here we are playing back a Blu-ray MKV file that I have stored on the Seagate Personal Cloud. This is a file that would not play on the iPad natively. So what it's doing is uh, transcoding, in other words, uh, re-encoding the video in real time so that I can play it back on my iPad without issue. It does take a while for it to spin up. Uh, it takes a really long time, actually, if you're used to Plex coming up right away. It's about a minute or two before it'll get going. So I, as you can see, as I'm kind of seeking ahead on the film here, if I had a faster computer processing uh, this video, this would pretty much come up right away. So it does take a minute or two for it to kind of queue up uh, and get all that stuff going, but it does seem to work. Uh, and it works a lot better than some of the other network attached storage devices I've looked at. So they must have done some work with, with uh, the Plex, the people that make uh, this application to give it some optimizations that it didn't otherwise have. Now one thing I was not able to get it to do is stream that same Blu-ray file uh, over the internet to my phone. So I connected via Verizon's uh, LTE you know, internet network, uh, tried to load the movie up the same way, it just wouldn't start because uh, it, that is a much more strenuous activity to get that movie compressed down further and then push it out over the internet. I could stream the same movie when I'm using my regular PC-based Plex server that runs in the basement, uh, that worked fine, but it wasn't able to do that over the internet. But Plex, Plex does give you some other stuff too, though. You have a nice photo gallery that you can browse. Uh, they have a really nice web interface. And again, this will be accessible anywhere in the world. So you do have the ability to kind of browse through photos really nicely, either with a web browser or on the apps. Uh, works across multiple platforms, and it's a really nice alternative uh, to what Seagate provides you in their app. And I think it was a really smart move on their part to just say, hey, you know what, install the Plex server and you'll have uh, really pretty much anything you could want on there. So it does do the transcoding. It's not gonna work as well as a PC. So I think if you're still doing things where you're pushing a lot of uh, big files to smaller devices, you're going to wanna keep that PC on there, but uh, it seems to be working okay. Where I think it'll work fine is if, I'll give you a great example, like if you have some movies you shot with your iPhone, you know, some videos with your iPhone, uh, playing them back on the iPhone through Plex on that Seagate should work fine because it doesn't need to do any video conversion to get that file to play back on the device. So there are some uh, things that should work better than perhaps trying to compress down this 20 gigabyte Blu-ray file into something that could be consumable via the, uh, the internet. So there are, you know, again, some limitations, but I think they've done a really nice job here of getting that performance issue nixed and also integrating a Plex server that does have some functionality. This is Lon Seibin with the Seagate Personal Cloud. Thanks for watching.